Buenos Good dias. Morning. No. Oh, that's not even close to right, is it? It is not. Good morning from Sitka. So beautiful. Yeah, I thought there would be more chairs. We're doing a lot of standing for this being Sitka, Sitka but we'll that's sit. fine. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna sit on a boat today because we are gonna go whale watching. And on a bus because they transport you oh, over yeah. to the main city center, which we'll show you. That's true. Yeah, it's a free shuttle because mm -hmm. town I think is like five miles away right. or some such a mess. But first. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Gotta get all fueled up to see all those whales. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. That was a good whale call. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be going out today with Sitka Wildlife Tours, mm -hmm. which is the same outfit that we yeah. used last time in Sitka. Remember we did the bear and the raptor center and all that Totem tour? Park. Yeah, they were awesome. Same folks. They yep. do land tours and marine tours. So, hey. Um, and actually you can get it through Viator, which mm -hmm. is how we booked it. And Dee can book that. I can. It's she about booked us. One forty nine. It's about one fifty. Yeah, it's for not a two bad hour tour. for a whale watch, honestly, because right. those are usually some of the more pricey excursions. So there's the price, and That's how true. you can book it, or you can contact me. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I, I called my <laughs> travel agent last night, and I'm like, "Hey, can you get us on this tour?" Yeah, there she is. Exactly. Uh, breakfast time. Let's okay. eat. Let's whale. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Happy Monday. Oh, can't really see it when the doors close. Are you at home? <laughs> Oh, they got breakfast here today. It was closed yesterday. Interesting. Yeah, I think we'll press on to the buffet. Nobody in the pool again. Gosh, that's true. If it's closed, makes it difficult to swim, huh? Gosh, this looks like this was some kind of revolving door at one point. They must have replaced it because um, that's just a normal slidey. Cool. Welcome to the breakfast garden. Oh, we found a table right here next to the Sainara. I think the O is like a little sun, it got faded. Like sayonara. Sayonara. Nice. All right, well, we're not gonna say sayonara. We'll say hello to some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Looks very similar to our other breakfast distances. I did decide to try the biscuits and gravy. Gravy looked a little thin, but it looked pretty good. All right, good morning, uh, dear friends. Uh, welcome to Sitka. It's a beautiful, beautiful day out here. Hey, we've made it officially. Uh oh. Now you're official in Sitka. There we go. Yay. So there is the main hub up here. It's a Sitka Sound Cruise Terminal. Yep, up and over this little hump, we should find the free shuttles. Yeah, we just follow the signs. They're everywhere. It's a 12 minute ride. That's what they said, look for the green buses. Made it to Centennial Hall. Yep, last shuttle. Oh, 4 p.m. for the Radiance or 5 p.m. for the Bliss. I'm not sure. Sometimes when you come in, you tender directly to the back of Centennial Hall, and I don't know if that's what Bliss is doing. They're not quite in position yet today. Anyway, let's get checked in. There we go, right here with the yellow signs and the blue jackets. Right across the street. It's real simple. Right, thank you. you bet. Let's wander. So that's the one we're doing is the Marine Adventure. <laughs> We're all checked in. He said, make sure you hit the bathroom stop in here. There's one on the boat, I believe, but you know, you can hit bathroom stop in here. That's right, they had a cute little museum and stuff in here. I remember this from last time. Well, let's wander back outside. We got a few minutes. I know we saw some eagles and stuff back here. I think this is actually the marina that we're gonna depart from right yeah. here. Very handy. Let's see if you see any of your eagles today. If not, we'll at least bask in some gorgeous mountains. Yeah, see a few birds in the air. Don't really see much in the way of eagles. Eagles, where are you, eagles? We're mostly after whales today, but we'll take whatever nature we can get. <laughs> well, water's nice and clear if you want to get in any snorkeling today. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually not a bad temperature. I have, let's see. How many layers are you wearing? We'll do a outfits of the day. With hey, the there's me. I'll do this while you do this it. No. Waffle knit kind of thing. Okay. And then just this really thin Columbia. This is like the warmest thing ever. And then just an old navy vest, and that's it. And then I brought like a hoodie in case it's freezing, a hat and gloves, and just a pair of jeans, socks and shoes, yeah. and I'm warm and it's like 46 degrees. Yeah, you never know on the water if yeah. it's gonna feel chillier, but. It's beautiful. All right, let's wander back up to the front, get this adventure going. Ooh, cool canoe. Think it, ceremonial canoe. And we're off, all right. Time to find our vessel. We'll just wander down this, um, ramp. <laughs> no, 
nice. There's our ride. If you need, there's a half step here. Otherwise, make a big step off my board. Nice. I got long legs, so I should be able to do that. We have a throwable device, a life ring, located here. It has a line attached to it. Right, we just got our mustard around our safety. So that you know, off, I was born and raised go. in this oh. area as my forefathers before me. Hmm. We're looking for the humpback whales today. There's a humpback and there's been some gray whales around. The humpback's the one we're looking for. They display the very, very best. We've had some whales nearby. They've been very elusive. Eagles reuse their nest year after year and it's bald eagles that we're looking for. Stop now to check out an eagle. He's taken us around to a couple of big nests and things, including, he said, one of the biggest nests he's ever seen. There's our friend up there. He's getting some better pictures, hopefully, than I am here, but hey, I see him. Now we're gonna cruise down the shoreline a little bit. He said that over there is, like, I guess, one of the only, if not the only, volcano in Southeast Alaska. Cool. This is cool just cruising out here. It's not cold. Uh oh. Weather's nice. I didn't even need a coat. I could have wore flip flops, <laughs> short <laughs> pants, <laughs> bathing suit, got in the water. <laughs> We've come up to our first nest. That is a good angle. He's going to stop us so that we can take a few shots here. That's cool, we got nice padded seats in yeah. here. I know we said they do bottled water and snacks, a little restroom down there. Cool. Oh, okay, we're on the lookout. Look out for Niger. They act like they're, they know they're pretty. Yeah, he's modeling for us now. All the ones we saw on catch you can't nice see pretty much the same exact spot most of these. They're definitely not shy. What will come into view would be one tall tree will be right in the middle of the opening. The next tree that comes into view, about a third of the way up, it looks like a beaver dam. It's so big that you can look right past it and not realize it. Yeah, it's right there behind a the branch right now. Hmm. That is pretty big. Mm -hmm. How about we go whale hunting? Hey, yeah, right. sounds good to me. Confirmed sea lion excitement coming up. Some on some rocks and some on a buoy. Yeah, there's some on the top of that rock over there, but I think we're going to look at the ones on the buoy. Look at you. Oh, well, we did, we did just lose one in the water, didn't we? Hey, fellas. Or, you know. Let's go and get a zoom in on here, too. It's just awkward trying to hold on. Zoom. Oh, look at all that footage. All right, I'm going to zoom back out and let photos by D get some pictures because uh yeah I do I do better when this thing's zoomed out. Wow. So these are stellar sea lions. <laughs> it's a shy sea lion. Yeah there they are over to the left now. <laughs> Some sea otter sightings. I think we've got, well, I see a ship over there. I don't think that's our ship. I think that might be the Bliss, but I'm not sure. But hey, we're more interested in these sea otters right now. You see all these, I know, it's tough to get a picture of a little bobbin sea otter head. Hard to hold still. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm not sure if this otter is uh, is angry at us. I think we're getting some whale reports on the radio. Hey now. We're gonna head a little closer to town. There was a report of a whale on the way back in. So maybe, maybe, maybe. There he is. Oh, we're in the vicinity of a confirmed spout. Hey -o. I saw it with my eyeballs a minute ago. Let's see if we can lay camera balls on it here. There he was. Hey, we're 
we're just glad we're seeing no, him right I'm now. Excited. Don't think we're gonna make demands of this whale. A nice spout. And our captain said that he ran this tour last two days ago and didn't, didn't uh, see any whales. So we are very early in seasons. So we're fortunate to see something. All is quiet on the whale front all of a sudden. My friend is going shy. There we go. Now we're kind of drifting away from our friend now. All right, time to roll. Thanks for showing yourself to us, whale friend. <laughs> We have made it back to land. Yay. That was cool. I love those small boat tours. Yeah, no, that was good. And we got we to see everything. Pretty much a little piece of everything we wanted to. I got some good eagle shots. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with it. But even just riding around for a couple of hours looking at these mountains and stuff. Shoot. Pretty. I don't know. All right, well, let's, coffee. let's climb this mountain and go get some snacks. Okay. This is super cute. <laughs> Put it in slow mo. Wow, you just slow mowed it yourself. Nice. The editing Jay didn't have to do a thing. All right, we made a pit stop back here in Centennial Hall again, but it's only noon, and we don't have to be on the last shuttle until four, so we're gonna do some exploring, hit a couple of spots that were our faves last time we were in Sitka, because we don't have Sitka on any future Alaska adventures, so we're gonna do all the sitka in today. Get all those mountain pictures. Yeah, when we were here in September, it wasn't quite as snowy. I always like coming in May, before things have like, you know, melted and stuff. I mean, the wildlife's not as active, but it's like what you picture when you picture Alaska. Yeah. And it's less crowded, generally. Yeah, true. It's nice. So if we cut out here right past the shuttle bus pickup zone, we should be able to hang a left on Lincoln Street. Pretty much everything we want to see and eat is on Lincoln Street. And coffee. And coffee. Hopefully. Well, there we go. We can learn stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that's exactly where the whales are. <laughs> yes. I think we made that joke before. We're going the right way if we see a tsunami. Just keep going. Hey, these are those public restrooms here on the right also. We could have done that. Welcome to Lincoln Street. It looks like they've actually got it closed off, so maybe it's pedestrian traffic only, which is kind of handy. You know, unless you live here and you're trying to get places. <laughs> yeah. We can go see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness okay. at the Coliseum. We, we do have time. I bet it's at night. <laughs> Well, let's go in the, I guess that's work and rugged gear store. I love rugged gear. Ooh, how rugged in here. Look at this rugged rain defender. These are some shiny silver rugged mannequins. Wow. Glasses of the gods. That sounds really rugged, actually. Gosh, that was an overload of rugged. Oh, there's a wild Alaskan fish food truck over there. Ooh. This is a whole different store, but oh gosh, they have rugged stuff too. Well, Holy moo. Is that a moose? That's a caribou, isn't it? I'm not good at my animal identification. It's a very glary salmon shop. It appears to be open. There's some Filipino food, which is open. A little coffee shop. Yeah, we did not come here last time. I don't remember this uh, location. Well, what the heck? Here we go. Seat yourself, order at back counter. Okay. Croissants and banana nut muffins and raspberry scones. Ooh. Gosh, we may just grab food here. I was thinking we were gonna go get palmini, but I mean, I'm down for Filipino food. And look at all these bubble tea and boba milk tea flavors. Yow. Whole section back here with some burgers and sandwiches and dinners and things. Yeah. Okie dokie. We have started off with some bubble tea. Uh, they're actually kind of very similar. <laughs> Dee got the cafe latte. I got the mocha java chip blended with the black tapioca pearls in the bottom. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, if we can find bubble tea, we go find it. We're going to find it, <laughs> yeah. Perfect for Alaska. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And usually one of the questions we get is when you order bubble tea or boba tea, what the heck is a boba? So and I can't really think of a way to describe it other than like it's a tapioca gelatin ball 
that doesn't really have much flavor to it. It's all texture. They're fun. Yeah, they're very fun to, to chew <laughs> on. Smaller. Right, so if you like to chew while you drink, it's entertaining. We always love them. You can play with them. You can. They have popping boba that are like little gushers. I've seen those at like frozen yogurt shops. If you've ever had the little round things on your frozen yogurt that you bite them and they pop, that's like a popping boba. Mm -hmm. boba. Yeah, there's different kinds, but good stuff. How was your boba treating you, ma'am? Wow. That is so, it's like the best of both worlds. Love coffee and bubble tea, and I get both, and it tastes so good. <laughs> I'm very happy right now. It doesn't take much. Nature, boba. Yeah. Alaska. We still got some day left to go. Yep. It's a great day. <laughs> well, Dee's entree has come, which is oh the Loco Moco. Now, I've only experienced this at the Polynesian Resort at Disney World. That doesn't count. No, that doesn't count. So, maybe first semi-authentic Loco Moco. It's basically what? A hamburger patty? Uh, rice, gravy, uh -huh. and egg, and scallion. I didn't know it was that much gravy. Yeah, that's a lot. So yeah, yeah, have fun with that one. It looks I good. <laughs> well, my entree has arrived, which is the pork adobo. Comes with rice, and I didn't realize it actually came with, I guess that's a lumpia, because we also ordered the appetizer, <laughs> which is the pork lumpia. So hey, yee, yee, woo. Nice. Now that you've broken yours down, it doesn't look so uh, like crazy. There's a lot of rice. Yeah, it's a lot of rice. It's very and good. A hamburger. Anyway, all right, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this gratuitous close up adobo footage. Okay, bye. Ooh, back out into the world. Alaskan dream cruises. Every cruise to Alaska is a dream. I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Ooh, all right, I am full. That was um, by the way. So if I could go back and tell my younger self anything, I'd say probably just get the loco coco moco and thing share it. and share it with you. Eight oh. half. My adobo was delicious though. Oh, the Munchie Mart is open. Sitka Pelmani is open. We do not need more. No, no, no more food. <laughs> get some views of this church as we pass by. Very close, like. St. Michael's Cathedral. It says visitors may now view the beautiful hand-carved altar, priceless Russian icons. You're cordially invited to visit this heart of historic Sitka. Open 10 to 3. So there's really just the one main drag in this town, which is awesome. Oh, I see, I see Old Harbor Books. Is that where we got coffee last time? Oh, well, that's right. It's actually called the back door. <laughs> hey, it's our park. There's a statue up there. I don't think we're going to have our gentleman mowing the grass this time today, though. Here's the chocolate mousse. Fine chocolates. They look open. Why am I drawn toward everything with food here in Sitka? Sitka Totem Square. Well, there's a totem, and it is rather square. Let's wander and have a sit. Cuh. Oh, we might get some weed whacking action here in the park. That's awesome. I saw a radio shack over there, too. Huh. These are all the important updates, of course. Radio Shack, Weed Whackers. Anyway, here's our bench. This is where we sat and enjoyed some delicious treats last time. Oh, any wild nature to be seen? No. I don't think the whales come up in here. Uh, no. I think that's way too short. We could see a seagull or three. Now well, we can just bask in all these total mountain views. Ah. And I forget, I feel like, is this called the Pioneer House? Pioneer Home? I might have just completely made that up. I don't know. It sounds kind of accurate. I would just sit here and let Solar D recharge. <laughs> yeah, I did get a little chilly, not gonna lie. I could add more layers on, but why? Why do that when you can just sit here? It's actually nice and warm sitting still in the sun. Yep, you just throw your legs up on me. Okay, there we go. We're comfortable now. <laughs> This is what we do. At least one of us must be comfortable at all times. He's so sweet. Most times, it's that one. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Here, lay down. I'll hold you. Okay, good night. Oh, there you go. Poked in the head with my hat. All right. <laughs> We're going to hang out here a while. Okay. And, um, yeah. Get comfortable. Yo, know, the Radio Shack is open. How about that? I kind of thought they all had gone out of business, but thriving. Thriving in Sitka. The crows are also thriving, or whatever these birds are. It's a mighty totem. Oh, there's something up here on a little board we can learn about. Guys, we love learning stuff. 
we don't remember it or you know repeat it back properly but what was this oh, a moorage site of the USS Jamestown and bird poop bird poop oh well well I think rather than looping back up there like we did before I think we're just gonna take Lincoln Street right back might as well okay number 21 Pioneer home. Is that even what I said? I don't even know what you I said. Call it pioneer something. Well, you know what? Sometimes I'm smart. Most times I'm not. <laughs> no comment. You're smart. <laughs> we found a mural. Oh God. It's an undersea. It's big, actually. How are you going to take pictures of this enormous mural? I don't think they're thirty. Uh, an octopus. That SpongeBob thing. Oh, it really is SpongeBob. I didn't even notice the SpongeBob references at first. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this little place, Castle Hill Trail. Okay, guys, we've gotten distracted by a hike. I think this used to have, like, a government castle house thingy on it. You can tell I've done my... I want to say it's Baranoff Castle, but that might also be wrong because I make things up sometimes. It is on the other side right here. Man, I've been tricked into exercise again. Are you slipping? No, I stopped. Oh, girl, are you tripping? Well, they've actually got all kinds of ramps up here, so this is more of like a gradual ramp that you can take to get to the top. Or, I guess, you know, you could just go right up the side like that. Rugged. <laughs> rugged. I have opted for the easy trail. It's longer, but it's less slope, and it's paved. Well, with back issues, it's probably the best. Eh. We got rest stops along the way. Nice. Photo ops. <laughs> Rocks. Rocks. This place rocks. Man, we've got all kinds of views from up here. Okay. Exercise, you know, it's worthwhile sometimes. 100%. Ooh, cool. All right. I think this might have either been closed last time we were here. Lots of cannons, lots of views, lots of learning. American Sitka. Oh, there's some stuff about Baranov's castle. Burning in 1894. Oh, well, there's a marker about the, I guess it's maybe the Alaska Purchase. The transfer of the territory to the U.S. 1927. Oh, well, wait. 1867. And then this plaque was dedicated oh. in 1927. <laughs> nice. There's another plaque about stuff and things. Oh, okay. This is about, like, you know, 1959 when they became a state. Cool. Yeah, a lot of good deals in the past. Louisiana Purchase, Alaska Purchase. Yeah, sure. What's this? <laughs> oh, there's a lot more to learn here. We're not even going to learn it right now because you need to come here and learn it yourself. So okay. that's just me being too lazy to read it. Hey, look, a volcano. Are we spinning? It's my Castle Hill spin. It's very good. That's how this works. Yeah. Thanks. I'm the best at spinning. All right, let's venture down. I guess we'll try the stairs and see where we end up. Oh. Okay, we came out right here by this Baranoff Castle sign, which oddly enough is right here by the totem park. So, hey, now we get to go this way again. Now there's two entrances you can find. That's right. <laughs> hey, look, a mural. Okay, no, not but again. the ramp is on that entrance. Yeah. So. Well, we made it back up here to the cathedral. I guess we'll at least take a peek in because we missed that last time. Welcome. Take photographs. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Let's do some basking in here. Yes, no hats, of course. Do you get some photos? You usually see lots of interesting things that I didn't see. Gosh, there's all kinds of stuff to look at in here. Okay. Beautiful. Crowns and art. It's a holy grail. Kind of. What is this? Yeah, communion chalice. Wow. Folding chairs. stuff in there. You can only peek at this stuff from the outside. That's cool though. Loft up there. Ooh, we can learn some songs too. Oh yeah, I was wondering they got music playing in here. That's the cathedral choir. We made our way to the other side of the room. Oh gosh, the cathedral choir is louder over here. that the bishop's cathedral throne fancy 
Oh man, fire that destroyed most of downtown Sitka consumed the original cathedral, 1966. Oh, along with my reflection. Well, that was stinking educational. Hey, which way they keep their D's in Sitka? Okay, I guess we're gonna wander back up here to the shuttle stop and head back to the ship. We have Sitka about all week in Sitka. Yeah. Sizzling chow, that's what it was called. Mmm, yeah. okay, no more, no more. That was good. Ooh, there is a line. I guess that's the line to get back on these buses. So, hey, we'll join the fray and see you when we get somewhere. Good gracious, this line is all the way around the back of the building. This is the popular time to get back to the ship, apparently, so it's about 2 o'clock. We've got two hours until the last shuttle. We'll make it. Uh, we'll just sneak in a few more mountain views while we wait. Yeah. ship that's a big ship it is let's see that's the one we're getting on right not not this one no, that one okay cool i like smaller ships in alaska i do too oh, it's breezy in this little corridor welcome home oh it does say welcome that Norwegian would be blocking our view but we are just far enough forward on the ship to have a decent amount of you know stuff to look at without staring at the side of Norwegian pretty as it is you know all that artwork and stuff good gracious well we've been in the cabin for a little while now it is about quarter to five we are still tied up but I know our back on board was 430 looks like the gangways are gone so yeah, shouldn't be long now until we will be sailing away. Hey, plane. Oh, we're dropping the lines. Setting us free. Oh, we are officially on the move. Goodbye, Bliss, and goodbye, Sitka. We were just sitting in the room going, man, I wish we could see a whale, and sure enough, did a whale show up out here. Let's see if I can get him on the camera. He keeps puffing. Ooh, it's, so cool. it's a little chilly now. It's probably a little like whale water. There he is. Yeah, the clouds have come in. Where is he? Oh, wow. He just showed a nice little piece of back or tail or something right there. Thanks, whale. That was cool. I still got a hat on my head. <laughs> I'm very casual. And it exciting. We've yeah. decided that we just, I don't know, we're keeping it casual tonight. Mm -hmm. we got so much time on the Radiance, we can't just blow out all those MDR menus all in a row. You no. know what I mean? So I think we're going up to the buffet. Yep. Don't worry, I put a new sock on my foot, so we'll have <laughs> sock of the day. Um, that's really, I know, the main concern. It so, is, yeah. You guys are very concerned. I know about them socks. Uh, we just saw a whale out on the we balcony did. a little bit ago. This is perfect whale weather. It is. It's not ideal for everybody. It's like gray, 
and gray, and gray but you uh -huh. can totally see whale spouts in that and it's perfect. It is the easiest yeah. to spot them when the water's gray and the sky is gray. They make very white puffs, so you're not lying. There's your tip of the day. <laughs> tip of the day. Wish for the gray. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's go eat some food. Yes. So, buffet mm -hmm. and boom boom. Boom boom. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Well, I forgot we get to stroll through the solarium. Yeah, they're uh, closing the pool off. Well, I know the captain did say earlier, yeah, that uh, we were going to have to do about 20 knots to get to our next stop, and he was going to try to make it as comfortable as possible for us. So maybe they're expecting some waves. Back through the round door of coolness. Oh, what's happening? Gosh, that's hot. It really is. Holy poop, y'all. It's very bright. Let's darken it up so we can see. Nice. Get it, people. Shake your group do, do it. I love watching people dance. It's creepy. It's creepy. Let's go eat. It's not creepy. It's romantic. I love watching strangers dance when they don't know I'm looking at them. How is that not creepy? <laughs> Welcome to Windjammer. What have we got? We have lasagna, beef bragioli, there's some potatoes, ragu de mare, pasta con chicicli, that's the one that looks like shells, pork piccata. Oh, the other side we got fried potatoes, mashed potatoes, hey, pork chops, spaghetti, beef stew, and steamed rice. Uh, so this was fruit, little sort of pre-prepared salads. There's some grab-and-go stuff on the back. Yeah, we missed this station at first. See if we have room. <laughs> like no room. I know. My salad took up my whole plate. Oh, look at that. Your plate is a little greener than mine is. So it's asparagus, a big salad, a little bit of hummus, some beef roulade thing, little mashed potatoes, and some bread to go with the hummus. Nice. Okay, I have a more, um, Red Italian uh, thing. I got beef stew on the non-Italian side. I did run up and get a tomato focaccia with some hummus, zucchini, uh, the beef roll. What is this? A little tiny piece of pork piccata. There's some stuffed shells under there and some lasagna. Sweet dreams are made of this. Okay. All right. So the sign there says Mississippi mud pie. I do see a rollad. I see a cannoli. That's a rollad. You know what I mean? Some of those like a lemon thingamajig. Oh, I see. Chocolate cake roll, lemon curd tartlet, okay. Chocolate pot de creme, that might be that. Cannoli, cassata, what's on this side? Raspberry shortcake cup. And they've also got the ice cream machine over here, I guess, um, I don't know if you do the ice cream stuff yourself or, hmm. Oh, I missed the buckets of cookies. Look at my big head getting in the way. So there's oatmeal raisin, invisible cookies, and something. All right, Dee ended up, oh, we think these are ranger cookies was the other cookie. But she got a cannoli and two cookies and a... Something. Pot of I don't know, uh, something. I don't know what it is. Shortcake cup. Uh, I got that chocolate roulade, a lemon tart, and two cookies. Oh my gosh, y'all, sexual healing just came back on again. In a very short loop of music. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, it's an instrumental version, but you know. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. There is still very exciting stuff happening in the atrium. We are just chilling at the champagne bar, listening to the band in the centrum. Good times. Very mellow, very calm. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole update. I didn't have any more words. That's lovely. And it's still light outside, which I saw on the ship. don't understand still, but it's really awesome. I know. It's 2 in the morning, and no, the sun is still up. <laughs> used our diamond drinks to get some bottles of water for the room because um we love water in the room you need water. Agua. we have got a seal of approval on our bed along with the cruise compass mm -hmm. look at him he's trying to read what's happening tomorrow hmm. is it a, no that's a seal is that a seal what is it <laughs> penguin <laughs> you got a penguin on the bed with penguin of approval look at him is he a penguin? Are you going to leave the other part in? Is he a puffin? We got a puffin of approval. <laughs> a right seal. on the bed. What's a queen? What? I don't know animals. It's a bird. We got a bird of approval. Okay. 
Oh. Apparently my animal identification <laughs> skills don't get a seal of approval. They do not. Whatever. Anyway, we're hey. going to go to bed. I know it's a little bit earlier than normal. We did a lot today. We yeah. sat in a boat. <laughs> we walked around and when it's like cold That's outside, true. I don't know. I think it makes you more tired. Everybody we've seen on the cruise ship has been like, I'm tired. I don't we're know why. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we're going to turn in early and get some work done and stuff like that. Yep. And we'll be uh, in Juno tomorrow. Yeah. Juno, it's supposed to be nice. <laughs> I think our two, our sunshine yeah. luck has run out after two days. We'll see. Hopefully, the weatherman is yeah. incorrect. Yeah. So anyway, good night for now. Mm -hmm. Buffet, dinner. really good actually. actually I was yeah, I was super impressed. And um, if I had more room for food, I would have probably gotten more off that yeah. like, thing with the asparagus. That was good. Mm. Yum. I think that's all. That's all we had to talk about. So <laughs> champagne bar, those guys are fun. Oh, they're really good, and um, they make fun drinks. They do. Yeah. That's it. Good night, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Jude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Hey, Juno. Okay. Bye. Good night. <laughs>